Hello, this reading is for those who just recently broke up or had a fallout with your partner. I'll do three spreads. The situation spread, who you're dealing with, who left who, etc. The advice spread, is it worth your time to reconcile with this ex? And the new love in the near future spread. Do you have anybody new coming towards you, hopefully better suited for you than your ex? Please like my videos if they resonate and subscribe to my channel. Let's begin. Hi Cancer, here's the situation. We have uh, the Queen of Pentacles, we have the Ace of Wands, we have the Six of Wands, we have the Eight of Cups, and we also have the Devil on the bottom of the deck. You could have been dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. So the Queen of Pentacles, the first card I came out, um, it's definitely not you, Cancer. I think this was somebody whom your person fell for or left you for. Right? Or if uh, that person was dealing with you and uh, this Queen of Pentacles, then this Queen of Pentacles simply won. Right? Um, so the Queen of Pentacles could be an Earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn. It could be somebody who deals with uh, money or finances. So this person could have been somebody your person worked with. Or this person right here, the Queen of Pentacles, could have been working for a financial institution, right? So the Queen of Pentacles is clarified by the Ace of Wands. This is an offer coming from this Queen of Pentacles, a very passionate offer, I must say, right? The Ace of Wands is all about passion. It's all about passion. We also have the Devil on the bottom of the deck. The Devil is the personal Capricorn card, so this Queen of Pentacles could have been a Capricorn. Or the Devil in this case is Temptation. The Devil is all about lust. The Devil is all about um, getting busy behind closed doors, if you know what I mean, especially with the Ace of Wands being here as well. So, basically, uh, your person um, got seduced by this Queen of Pentacles, this person fell for that person. They simply fell for that passionate offer that we see in the Ace of Wands. The next card I came out is the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands is a card of a victory and I think this is uh, the Queen of Pentacles celebrating here because uh, they were able to either lure your person in or if uh, your person was dealing with them and you at the same time, if they were choosing, then uh, they're celebrating this victory, unfortunately, um, for you. And uh, the last card I came out is the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups, this is somebody walking away, right? So this is your person choosing this Queen of Pentacles and ultimately walking away from you. All right, um, yeah, but let's take a look at the advice spread just in case. Here's the advice spread for you, uh, Cancer. This is from your perspective. This is what you need to do or at least take into consideration. We have the Six of Cups, we have the Page of Cups, we have the Ten of Swords, and we have the Five of Wands. The advice is very simple. If or when this person, this ex of yours, uh, comes back from the past asking for forgiveness, asking to take you back, uh, just tell them no. Absolutely not. You're not going to get back together with them or you're not going to give them a second chance. Perhaps they will realize that grass wasn't greener on the other side. Perhaps that passionate feeling will wear off eventually. Um, um, or whatever, right? <laughs> so the Six of Cups, the first card I came out, this is a card of somebody coming back from the past. And I think this is them. This is the person you were dealing with. The person who left you for that Queen of Pentacles. That's them. Uh, the Page of Cups right next to it. This is a card of an apology, right? So they will apologize to you. They will perhaps give you something, flowers. They will ask you out. Um, but uh, the last card I came out is the Ten of Swords and we also have the Five of Wands on the bottom of the deck. The Five of Wands, it could be your internal struggle, Cancer. I'm going to be honest with you. You could be thinking about giving this person a chance, right? But uh, the Ten of Swords is... Um, a definite no. You need to shut it down. Don't even bother talking to this person. You can even block this person. Right? The five of wands could also play out as a card of an argument. Right? So perhaps uh, you will have a few words to sh say to this person. A few very harsh words they're not going to appreciate. But I, th I think you shouldn't even bother. You know, if they betrayed you once, they will do it again. Just 
trust me. All right, so with the Ten of Swords, send this person back to the past where they belong. Cancer, this is spread number three. This is a new love coming towards you in September. We have the Page of Cups. We have uh, the Knight of Pentacles, clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Wheel of Fortune, and we also have the Sun on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. I like this spread, Cancer. This, the words that come to mind are predictable, but at the same time, uh, dependable person coming in. This person will want to do everything by the book. It kind of feels like a step-by-step -step <laughs> process here. I'm not saying it's going to be boring, but per per I have a feeling that you are in the need of a person you can rely upon, somebody whom you can um, predict the future in terms of knowing what's going to happen um, a week from now, a month from now, a year from now, right? A very solid person, somebody who is going to be there for you, right? Somebody whom you can uh, trust in a, for long-term commitments, right? I think this is the type of person coming in. That's what I see here. And you're going to be really happy <laughs> about that. So the first guy that came out, came out is the Page of Cups. In this spread, the Page of Cups is all about what happens in pretty much every relationship in the early stages, right? This is them reaching, you out, reaching out to you, this is them asking you out, this is them buying you a drink, buying you flowers, just being super nice to you, paying a lot of attention to you, uh, giving you compliments, right? But it will quickly uh, change for um, the better, right? Because the next guy that came out is the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is no longer a page of cups, right? <laughs> The Knight of Pentacles is a very serious card. I'm not saying the Page of Cups is... I don't mean to belittle the Page of Cups, but the Knight of Pentacles, this is the next level, right? The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest knight out of all four knights, so this person will think it through. They will have a plan, right? They will tell you that, um, you know, a month from now we'll do this, but uh, a year from now we'll be at that point of our lives together. It's Like I said, you can predict the future with this person. And uh, you're going to be totally cool with that. The Knight of Pentacles could also be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. The Knight of Pentacles is clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. So this is the end goal. This is what this person wants with you. The Ten of Pentacles is um, a co one of the commitment or marriage cards. But uh, the Ten of Pentacles is a very solid, very grounded, financially secure type of a connection, very long-term type of a connection. This is when people buy real estate together, they grow old together, have children together, if that is still an option for them, right? A very solid. <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune right next to the deck, this is a start of a new cycle, a very fortunate cycle. In my spreads, the Wheel of Fortune is always good news. And uh, the last card we have on uh, the table, the Sun on the bottom of the deck, this is the happiest card in the deck. So you'll be really happy that you can finally have somebody like that, somebody you can trust, somebody who will take care of you, somebody who will always be there for you, and somebody who wants a commitment uh, with you, and uh, you will be able to see yourself together with this person 10 years from now, 20 years from now, and uh, 30 years from now. So um, I'll expect a report from 30 years from now <laughs> on how this played out for you, right? cancer all right so yeah that's what i got for you for this reading if this video resonates with you please like it don't forget to check out my other videos on this channel and other than that cancer have an amazing september and there you have it i hope my readings resonated with you and if they did i hope they make your lives better in one way or the other please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified thank you for watching